A lot of you tell me that you've watched all of the videos on YouTube about offset fire management, but you're still having issues with maintaining steady temperatures and keeping the temperature spikes down. So I wanted to make this quick video with three advanced tips that you might not have heard of that will help you maintain steadier temperatures on your offset smoker, eliminate those spikes, and at the end of the day, create some better barbecue. So let's get smoking. Tip number one is to use a premium hardwood lump charcoal. In my beginner's offset fire management video, I recommended building a charcoal base in your firebox before you start adding splits. And I recommend to beginners that you use any type of charcoal that you can get as long as it's hardwood lump charcoal. But if you're a more advanced user and you really wanna dial in your temperature control, then I really recommend getting a premium brand of charcoal like Jealous Devil. Jealous Devil is an extremely dense hardwood lump charcoal that burns about twice as long as other brands of charcoal. It's clean, it doesn't create that crackling, sparking effect when you light it, and most importantly, it helps you to maintain lower and steadier temperatures over time without having to add more charcoal all the time. Now each bag of Jealous Devil might cost a little bit more than other brands of cheaper charcoal, but it's actually less expensive because it lasts twice as long as that cheaper charcoal and it burns for longer. So you're actually saving money in a lot of cases. The way I like to use this is every time I add a split of wood every 20 or 30 minutes to my Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker, I also add one handful of this Jealous Devil lump charcoal. Now the charcoal isn't lit and sometimes when you add unlit charcoal to a fire, it can decrease the temperature and create some dirty white smoke. But this isn't too bad because the Jealous Devil burns really cleanly. It doesn't have any additives or chemicals in it. It doesn't create that impact to your fire. So just add one lump charcoal handful every 20 or 30 minutes along with your split and you'll be able to maintain much steadier and lower temperatures over time. Advanced tip number two is to get a Wi-Fi enabled remote probe that has a graphing function that you can see on your phone. This is so important. If you're a dad like me and you don't have all day to sit by your offset smoker and babysit it, uh, I have to go away and do chores and do dad stuff. This is such an awesome tool to have and it's really important for fire management. There's a couple of advantages of using these types of probes. The first one is that you're measuring the temperature at great level right where the heat hits the meat. And that is something that actually Barbecue Jesus recommends in his book, Aaron Franklin. For those of you that don't know, I call him Barbecue Jesus. He recommends that you always take the temperature from great level, because if you take it uh, from the dome thermometer that's way high up or somewhere else on, on the, uh, uh, the dome, that it doesn't accurately reflect what the heat is before it hits the meat. Second, it allows you to walk away from your offset smoker for long periods of time and do other stuff. For me, I walk away and I take care of Jacob, my son, I play video games, I exercise on my treadmill, and a lot of times I'm doing all of those three things at the same time. So I can monitor the temperature graph as I'm doing other things and when I see it stalling out or I see it hits a peak and starts decreasing, I know I have to run out for about five seconds and throw another split and handful of charcoal on. And by doing that, it makes it so much easier to manage the temperature on your smaller offset smoker. Is it a lazy way of managing your fire? Yeah, but I'm kind of a lazy guy. That's why when I joined the military years ago, I joined the Armored Corps because why walk around and get shot at all day when you can eat Cheetos behind 70 tons of fire spitting metal? And finally, you can set temperature alerts with your meter app so that if it spikes too high to above 300 or it spikes too low below 225, then it'll alarm and whatever you're doing, you'll get a notification that you need to run out there and fix your fire. If you guys don't have a meter plus remote probe yet, then I'll link it in the description section below so you guys can pick one up. It's a real game changer. I love it. I've used it for years and they're great. And the third and final advanced tip is to use a large shallow water pan that is full to the brim with water and replenish it every two or three hours when it starts to get low and you're checking the meat. I use a large aluminum pan and I put it right next to the firebox. And in a previous video, I did an experiment where I did a cook without a water pan and with a water pan, and I measured the relative humidity and the effect on temperature control. And what I found is that it adds more humidity to the cooking chamber, which is a good thing. And also it prevents temperature spikes and it allows you to even out the temperatures and keep a steadier temperature in your cook chamber for longer. 
So definitely recommend using a larger water pan if you're not already. And if you're using a small water pan, reconsider and try upgrading to a larger one because that small water pan might not be doing enough to steady out those temperatures. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here so you guys can watch it next. And I'd love to hear from you guys about what your smoker setup is, how you guys maintain temperatures on your smaller offset smoker. Just drop a comment in the comment section below or consider joining my Patreon where we have a private chat server and a great little community. You can send pictures to me and we can really dig into your fire management issues. Thanks so much guys. See you in the next video and happy smoking.